Hi, my name is Sam. I'm the Grand Prospirator of Corporate Learning. There's a really interesting article in the September 10th issue of Maclean's. Uh, the article was entitled, How Children Succeed, and it was really an overview of a book by Paul Tuff. And Paul actually has done a lot of research uh, documenting U.S. efforts to bolster the American education system. I really like how the article or, or book has been laid out because it really takes an organization development approach takes a bit of a 360, looking at investments that the government has poured in, looking at the tenure system of teachers, looking at childhood development and childhood development theories, as well as um, testing and different programs and approaches that have been used in the past and what has worked and what hasn't. One interesting fact that I learned from the article was that uh, one of the key uh, determinants of success, success for children is um, how many words they hear before they're three years old. So uh, the children of professionals tend to hear uh, 30 million words by the time they're three versus 10 million of parents on welfare. I don't think I'll have much of a problem here because uh, I'll just speak more to my daughter. The article also kind of outlines um, something called adverse childhood experiences. And these can be things like um, the separation of parents, uh, um, one parent on uh, drug abuse um, or being abused. What's interesting is that the article finds that it's not necessarily the adverse childhood experience that impacts whether children succeed or not. It's, it's how they respond to it. Um, in Paul's research, he comes to um, the importance of character in the ability to succeed um, in the education system. And he defines success not just by graduating from high school, but um, success as in graduating from university. Uh, there's two types of character that he outlines. One is performance character and the other is moral character. Uh, a lot of the schools in the uh, uh, poorer parts of um, the uh, city tend to focus on performance character. And this is actually building uh, tenacity, building a hard working ethic in the students. And this is actually a greater predictor of uh, success or being able to complete university than moral character, which is focused on uh, kind of how to fit in, um, things like how to be tolerant, how to be more encompassing. It's actually the moral character is what a lot of the elite schools are uh, of uh, the wealthy parts of town and more, more affluent families are focused on. It's kind of like a finishing school, but this is actually important as it is, not a key determinant of success or whether people graduate from uh, university. I found this article extremely interesting and uh, because it really outlines that success is based more on how we deal with failure or how we respond to it and that the ability to get back up from a uh, failure and continue that journey. There's a Chinese saying that failure is the mother of success and I really believe this. Uh, this article also uh, is really good food for thought particularly as I'm taking this philosophy of um, learning uh, class and it really brings to light some thoughts on um, uh, the pra some practicality to things like virtue epistemology or virtue ethics.